If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What is going on people? So it's your boy Mr. Bucket List and here we are as you can see at the beautiful Terry Back Black's Barbecue. So I'm here in Austin, Texas. I'm so excited. Yes. Um... All right, so for you all that didn't know, in Texas there's two major spots, at least in Austin, Texas, that claims to have the best barbecue in the world. This place, Terry Black's, and another place called Franklin's. I did not try out Franklin's because I didn't have enough time. I will be back soon. But this place was amazing. All right, and then to the side of the actual restaurant itself, it is the actual like the slow cooking, slow cooker area where they actually house all the meats that they cook out for the day and for catering and things like that. Um, this restaurant is actually owned by a couple of um, brothers. They actually, they're, it's a family owned business, but they're extremely popular. And like I said, they have all the meats just stored up. You can actually take a tour of it if you ask to. They don't really have a problem with it. Now, as far as the actual restaurant goes, so you walk in, you pretty much, you stand in line, of course, um, and then you kind of just choose what you want to get. First, they start you off with your size, and then after the size, you go to the actual meat table. Um, now, for me, for the size, I believe I got um, some macaroni, and then I also got some um, potato salad, because I just was really just curious about the meats. I didn't really want really to get myself full on the size, but like I said, the sides are good as well. They have plenty of sauces to go with it, and the flavoring was really good. But this place is all about the meats. Now, as you walk and see, the meats that they have here are so tender and juicy and moist. Oh my goodness. Um, now, what I kept reading in the reviews was to try the brisket and then also try the ribs. Um, that was the two main things. So I made sure to get those. Ironically, the rib I got, I wanted to make sure I got one of the giant ribs. The rib I actually got cost $45 by itself. So just make sure that you're aware, especially if you're going with a family, if you all try to eat like kings and queens and little jokers or whatever you want to call them, make sure you have your wallets with you because this place, even though it's really good, you're going to pay for what you get, literally. Now, I will be honest, this was the most moist, tender piece of rib I've ever had ever in my life. It was so good. And yes, as you all saw, the meat did fall off the bone. Um, now, I will tell you, I mean, one complaint I saw was it is a little salty. And it's true. Mine was a little salty. I didn't put any extra salt on there. So what I kind of did to even it out was I kind of just drowned it in some sweet sauce. So it kind of neutralized it. Um, but that is one thing to think about. The meat is very, very salty. But again, it was just so good, honestly, I didn't care. It tasted like I was eating a cloud of meat. It was just it's really hard to explain, but it was just so good. All right, so before I actually get to the rating, I just wanna let you all know, yes, I did go ahead and finish everything. That was a lot of food. I honestly, I can't remember, but I don't think I ate again that day. I had that early in the morning and that was enough for me, but that was just, that was some of the best barbecue I've ever had. It's just that simple. So on to the rating. Um, as far as my rating, this is definitely a must do. Um, definitely if you're in the area, if you're a fan of food, if you ever go to Texas, if you're ever driving through Texas, go ahead and go to this place. Just like I said, if you go with a family or more than just yourself, make sure you have a good wallet because you're only going to get some very small portions if you don't. Um, at minimum, I'll, I would say expect to at least pay about $40 per person. For me, after everything, goes about 60 something. Um, so again, it's your boy, Mr. Bucklist. Uh, again, I appreciate you, all, appreciate you all watching this video. Please, please continue to share my videos. Con continue to subscribe. I have a whole lot more coming from Texas because I've been there for a while now doing a lot of different things as you all have been seeing. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.